probably where you'll see the most progress. Oh, don't look there. Um, so, this is our landing. I think you guys have seen it like this before, just without the carpet. Um, so, from what it first looked like, it's a huge difference. We don't have anything here at the moment, but the plan is to eventually have like a little chair here and some shelves here with books and just make it a nice thing to come up the stairs to look at some family photos or some art prints and something that's just going to really like fit with our, our, our lighting here. Then I'll take you into Elliot's room. So I do want to do a whole room tour on this so I won't focus on it for too long but it is pretty much done. He still needs some stuff on his shelves. Again, it's not got that personal touch of anything on the walls. We need to do some snagging on some of the uh, paintwork that came off when the masking tape came off. Also, I found these shelves a while back in Home Sense, and I want to paint them yellow because the yellow and the blue really ties in with the carpet. I do like the pink as well. Um, I just always had in my head that I was going to paint them yellow um, because he does have more of a yellow and blue theme in here. Um, and then I'm also thinking about painting the back of his door yellow, which I think could look really cool, but I don't know if I'll do that yet. So yeah, I love his little room. He seems really happy and comfortable in here. I just want to get him some more animals for his shelves. These are what Archie used to have. I need to repaint that one because it's more green and even though initially this was going to be like a minty green, it definitely ended up being much more of a blue, which is good because it worked with the carpet and the blinds, so I'm happy with how it turned out. I showed you the bathroom in my last update, but it does have a few more homely touches now. So we've got this mirror, which used to be above our bed, but sadly it doesn't fit anymore in this house. So we thought we would reuse it in here, and I absolutely love it there. I've also got a little plant, and I do want to get um, a bath, little bath shelf caddy thing. And then, yeah, I'm still just as in love with it just looks, looks absolutely beautiful. I just love walking into here every single day. It feels like a hotel bathroom and it still makes me smile every single time that I walk in here. So I'm just trying to show you all the different angles of it. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I don't think I've shown you either that we have a speaker in here um, which links up to our phones on Bluetooth so we can have music when the boys are in the bath and they love that. It's really cool. Um, and yeah, I think I've shown you the lights. So that's the bathroom. Archie's bedroom is through here and oh my god, I can't wait to show you it all kind of properly and go through where everything's from, but it's just amazing. I don't know if this was even done the last time I showed you in Archie's room, but my dad built him this epic bed. It's got so much storage in it. I'll show you it all like open and in the room tour. Um, we were initially just going to paint all of the beading around the edges the same colour. But because it was put on after, we thought it looked really cool, like contrasting like it does. But what we're going to actually do is stain it to be more of this oak colour instead of pine. Um, so yeah, we've still got to do a bit of work. I mean, he's still got... Um, masking tape on it for goodness sakes we do need to touch some of it up um, but it's just little things like that that you just don't get around to doing every day so he's got like he's got his shelves that need to be filled he's got his lego bricks his little oven and stuff and then one of my favorite things is this print which is from Junique the funny thing about this is I didn't realize they did a French version and an English version so I mistakenly ordered him the French version so all of the animals do kind of work apart from a few of them for example that's called a you I can't even say that word but it's not an owl he can learn French but I just absolutely love it and it's huge I'm not sure if you can really get the size of it um, but there's his wardrobe 
And then his favourite thing is his uh, superhero wardrobe, which he lo loves to show to everybody that comes up to see his room. And then I love his sideboard, which was from Amazon. And then this little rug is from H&M. So this room is just like, ex again, exactly how I imagine it. Oh, the one thing that does need to be done in here um, is a mural on this wall. We always planned to paint mountains on, but we did, oh, but we did just run out of time. But I found this amazing website, I think it's called Mural Wallpaper or something like that. And they do a perfect one. So I've just got to order that basically. And that will look really good in here. He's really excited about that. And then through to this room, this room is a bit of a mess, so basically the clip you're about to see of our bedroom I filmed last night and then after that we started putting all our new furniture in, so it's all a bit all over the place, but this was our old furniture that we need to sell, so that's just in here until we sell it, and then this is a new piece of furniture which is going to be going in my office, which is a really lovely sideboard. So in here basically, we don't have much, we have a door on the airing cupboard now, we have stuff in that corner we need to sort out. We have uh, drawers over there, a clothes horse. This room is gonna easily become a sort of chuck anything in room, washing room, you know, and I don't want it to be that. Just because it's a walkthrough, it doesn't mean it has to be kind of a junk room. So I need to really think about how we're gonna use this space because otherwise it is such a waste. Um, it is just frustrating that it can't be really just used as a proper room because people always have to walk through it. But there's so many different things we could do with it. So let me know if you have any ideas. And then, oh my goodness, this is the office. <laughs> Again, I know exactly what's happening in here. It just needs, I just need a few, like a whole day really with nothing else I need to do to sort this out. So my desk's over there and it's really lovely and I just want to be able to get to it. Um, we've got, you know, my rail, shelves, um, like drawers and everything. It's just, I need to sit and sort all this out. So I think I'm going to have to pull a few all-nighters and get it all done. But once it's done, this is just going to be an amazing space to work in. And I just can't wait to have an office back again. Um, so that's that room. And then obviously that sideboard that I just showed you is going to go along there. And then I'm going to just quickly put in a clip of last night before we started reading our bedroom, what it looked like. This is where we're up to with this room. The wall's been painted in ammonite. And then the other walls are all white by Fair and Ball and the woodwork is pure white. And then at the moment we've still got our old bedside tables and chest of drawers. Same dressing table and everything. Our TV's on the window. <laughs> we've got some blinds and curtains. Um, so they're staying for now. Eventually we're going to get shutters in here too. I'm keeping the dressing table. And I've got a new stool, a new tall boy and new uh, chest of drawer bedside tables. So all of these are going, keeping the bed, changing all the bedding. This is obviously the carpet that we've got throughout upstairs. Um, I, <laughs> we've just got back from holidays, so there's stuff everywhere, so please excuse that. Um, all the wardrobe's been painted and all of the doors. Um, one of my favorite things in the room, which you can't annoyingly see that well, um, I'll try and get a clip of it when it's daylight so you can see it with the light off. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like a beaded light. Um, it was from John Lewis and it was 95 pounds, but I just absolutely love it. It's such a beautiful feature of the room. And we also put up a ceiling rose. We've got to do a little bit more work to that to hide the little gaps, um, but it looks lovely. Um, so yeah, all of this will look different in here. At the moment, it just looks like a really blank canvas. I mean, it's absolutely fine. We've been in here for about a month and it's completely fine. Um, but obviously we just want to make it look a bit prettier, a bit more homely um, with some trinkets. And we're going to, can't believe I'm saying this, but we're getting new lamps after Lampgate, trying to find <laughs> these ones. So yeah, that's this room so far pretty much. Um, apart from the ensuite, that's just a completely no-go area at the minute. That really needs some work. So I'm not going to um, go in there right now, but 
hi that's our bedroom but very soon i'm going to be doing a big makeover of this bedroom and a room tour to show you what it's going to end up looking like so this is kind of you've seen like the before before this is sort of what it looks like during the middle process and then you'll see it after once it's all done so i'm really excited about that 